Hello, this is Dr. Elena Martell with Pharmacy Basis, and I'm coming to you with another video, but all about what is required of you when going on a pharmacy school interview. But before we start, you know how we do here. Now, if you're new, you may not know, but I love to create dialogue. So my pharmacy prospects, what questions do you have about interviewing with pharmacy schools? My practicing pharmacists, my veterans, my interns, what are the things that were going through your head before and after the interview? Stop this video right now, go down to the comment section and give me your thoughts. Now, I know better than anyone that interviewing in general can cause someone to go into a complete anxiety attack. That's why I am here to help you relieve some of the anxiousness. In this video, I'm going to discuss a few things I think you should know before going into an interview. Now, keep in mind, a pharmacy school interview is just to see if the school is a good fit for you. So you are most definitely interviewing the admissions team just as well as them interviewing you. With that being said, that means you have to have questions for them. You do not want to go into anything empty handed in life in general, but this in particular, you do not want to go into empty handed. So you need to have some type of questions to ask the interviewers or some type of questions in general that you want to ask maybe the other pharmacy students that are there or the different people interviewing with you. The type of questions that you want to ask will be covered in a later video, of course, but that brings me to my next topic. You may not know exactly what you want to ask before you get to the interview. That's why you need to bring some sort of notepad, journal, or legal pad so you can write different questions that may pop into your head while you're there. Let's recap. As of now, we need to bring pen, paper, and questions. Now to a parent. We all know that this is the first impression. Some things are no-brainers, but for some others, it may not be that quite obvious. So I know I do have foreign viewers, so I will go over little things that are kind of American culture. If you're planning to make a lasting impression on a United States pharmacy school interviewer. Fragrances, ladies and gentlemen, please do not wear overbearing fragrances. You want to have something that is appealing to the nose, something mild, something very natural, something that smells fresh and clean. As far as attire, men and women, you should stick to the basic colors such as black and white, grays and blues. I would like to see blue because it is appealing to the eye and quite frankly, a lot of people will not wear blue so it would definitely make an impression on the admissions team. Men, you should not wear shorts, polo shirts, ball caps, boots, or even sneakers. As far as attire, men, I suggest that you wear a two-piece suit, if not a full length button-down shirt with some nice dress slacks. You really don't need a three-piece suit. I think that's a little extra. Let's reserve that for weddings and funerals. Ladies, you have a lot of options here. You can wear a dress, you can wear a pantsuit, you can wear a nice blouse with dress pants, and you can even wear my favorite, a skirt suit. If you do choose to wear a blouse or a dress, just make sure that the cleavage is covered fully and that you are not wearing sleeveless tops. I also suggest that the ladies wear flats because you may have to do a lot of walking. And if you do not prefer to wear flats, you can wear any type of heel that is not a stiletto four inches or below. Let's keep it classy. Oh, and make sure you can walk in them. The next thing I will address is hair. As long as your hair is well groomed and appealing to the majority's eye, I repeat majority you are okay. As far as jewelry, you want to keep it very simple. And as far as nails and makeup, you want to look as natural as possible. Now let's recap. We have basic color clothing, preferably blue, dress shoes, groomed hair, simple jewelry, and natural looking makeup and nails. Got it? And the last topic for the day is 
you should expect to be at an interview for at least four hours. Every school does things a little different. Some of them send out the itinerary the day before or maybe even a week before. And some, you may receive the itinerary when you get to the interview. I just suggest that you set out at least four hours of time just for the interview. Now, while on the interview, you can expect to write an essay. Now, this essay can be about yourself. You could possibly have to write an essay about a scenario with asking your opinion about something. And you can even be asked to write an essay about where you see yourself in pharmacy in the next five years. You should also expect to have at least three interviewers. It can be a panel style interview or it can be an individual style interview. Every school does it different every year. And these interviewers can definitely be dry and some of them can be surprisingly bubbly, but please do not let that distract you. Once you have completed your interview, it is now time for you to relax. Please do not think about it and don't call the school. Give them at least two weeks to respond to you to let you know if you have been accepted or if you have not. Now, if you have not been accepted into the program, that does not mean that you're a failure. That does not mean that you cannot try to apply to another school. That just this means that that school was not meant for you and whatever is meant for you will take place. As always, make sure you check the description box below as I leave a bunch of valuable information that can help you out. Pharmacy Prospects, was this video informational to you? Was it helpful? Let me know. My pharmacy veterans, did I miss anything? Is there anything that you feel that I should have put in this video that I did not? Please let me know in the comment section down below as it can help myself and pharmacy prospects. This video can be found in the elementary school playlist. For more videos like this one and how to get in and apply to pharmacy school, click right here to start watching. Again, this is Dr. Elena Martil with Pharmacy Basics. I hope that you all have a busy and blissful day.